Officer Boom. And then, when I couldn't find Rumble anywhere, I decided to look under the bed. No way! Was he there, hiding under the bed? Nope. He was in the closet. And when he saw me on my hands and knees, with my head under the bed, he snuck up on me and... <laughs> oh! oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> yeah. And that's why, from now on, I'm always gonna wear a helmet when Rumble and I play hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> I love your stories. Don't you, Bo? Bo? Huh? Is something wrong? Yeah. What's got you down, buddy? I don't know. Sometimes... I think I'd rather be a police kid than a fire kid. What? You love being a fire kid. Yeah, I guess. Don't get me wrong. I like rescuing cats out of trees. But real firefighters tackle dangerous jobs. And I'm just a kid. I'm too young to do anything important. <laughs> Sometimes I wish Spritzer and I were police kids in training, because they don't have to wait till they're all grown up. I know what you mean, Bo. Dipper and I can't wait to work with the big trucks in the quarry. But it's still fun just to be a kid, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. It's just, sometimes I wish I was different. <sighs> Come on, Spritz. Thanks, guys. But I don't really feel like hanging out today. Aw, poor Bo. I had no idea he was so unhappy. Me neither. I wish there was something we could do to help. Well, maybe he just needs a good old-fashioned race to cheer him up. Who doesn't feel happy when they're all... ...all around the stunt block? That's a great idea, Owen. But I think Bo needs something more... Official! Hi, Roger! Hey, Cruiser! You two have been working pretty hard all day. Yeah, it's been a busy morning. Being a police kid is hard work. We can see that. So listen, here's the thing. It looks like you might have too much work, and our friends Bo and Spritzer are feeling sad because they don't have enough work. Would you mind if they took over your job for the day? Whistle and all. If you like, you can borrow my fishing rod and head over to the pond. Oh, uh, that sounds like fun. What do you say, Cruiser? <laughs> then it's official. You two have fun. See you tonight. Check it out. Now we can give Bo the whistle and tell him Roger needs him to be an honorary police officer for the day. So, you want us to go all liar, liar, pants on fire? What? <laughs> no. Because it sounds like we're gonna fib. Look, don't think of it as fibbing. Think of it as helping our friend. What could possibly go wrong? Come on, let's go. This is totally gonna backfire. Big time. Yep. <sighs> Bo, Spritzer? Roger and Cruiser are completely swamped with police work. And they want you two to help out. What do you say, officer? <gasps> Roger needs our help? Sprinter, this is it! Our chance to really help the town! Officer, what's up? Fresh cement, wet, dangerous. Didn't you see it? 
Uh, no, officer, but thank you. Yes, thank you, and keep up the good work, Officer Bo. Yep, all part of the job, citizen. Huh, maybe this really was the right thing to do. I know, right? Officer Bo, happy and helpful. I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Startle you, citizen. But Crash's tires seem a little low on air. I'll need you to vacate the premises immediately, head to the garage, and fill them up. Yeah, I guess they are a little squishy. We'll go right after we finish the game. Nope. <gasps> no can do. What kind of officer would I be if I let you do something so reckless? Around here, we do things by the book. And the book says. It is not safe to engage in vehicular sports with underinflated tires. You'd better do as he says, Owen. After all, it is in the book. Yeah, that means you too, Missy. Tipper's tires need air as well. Copy that? Copy that? Yes, Bo. We, we need a awesome Bo. Whoa, Bo is taking this job very seriously. Maybe a little too seriously. Just look how happy he is. Yes, sorry. This is one of my best ideas ever. Did he just give a ticket to a puppy? <laughs> Don't be silly. He's just being thorough. to go talk to him. Yeah, me. I mean me. I'll go talk to him. <sighs> Kids these days, they don't even clean up after themselves. Yeah, I know it's my mess, Spritzer. So, Bo, I have a confession to make. Roger didn't really need you today. Yeah, I know. You do? When did you find out? Right after you gave me the whistle, I bumped into Roger. He told me. Oh, but, uh, if you knew the whole time, why did you play along? Well, it was really nice of you to try to cheer me up. And I didn't want to ruin it for you. And it was really fun. So you just kept pulling us over and giving us tickets? Makes total sense. I could see how that would be fun for you. Uh-huh. <sighs> At first it was fun, but you guys are a handful. I could hardly keep up. Well, you could just turn in your whistle. Really? You'd be okay with that? Totally okay. And I think everyone else would be totally okay with it too. Oh man, no more policing. It's gonna feel great to be a kid again. <laughs> We'll sure miss Officer Bo, but it'll be good to have you back. Thanks, Rev. Woohoo! I hope Bo isn't too upset. I hope Bo's done handing out traffic tickets. He's right behind me, isn't he? Uh... <laughs> I'm just.
Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you back, Bo. We missed you, buddy. Now let's go play some bumper ball! <laughs> Ball inside. Unless we all play together! <laughs> yeah! Camp Sleepaway! <laughs> Camp Sleepaway, here we come! I can't wait! Check out these photos from last year! <gasps> Look at how muddy you were, Rev! <laughs> Almost as muddy as you! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at how many bug bites you had, Owen! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> not fun. But I learned my lesson, and that's why this year I'm bringing bug spray. Zap! Pew pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! No, hey Bo. Hi, Bo. Spritzer, are you coming with us this year? You never go to camp. Like never, ever. <laughs> yeah. This year I am. My mom is making me. She said it'll be good for me. She also said something about her needing a break. <laughs> well, that's great. You're gonna love Camp Sleepaway, buddy. Rev is right, Bo. We love absolutely everything about camp, and so will you. Aside from the mud, <sighs> and the bug, <laughs> and the poison ivy, it's awesome! Mud, bugs, Poison Ivy? <laughs> Man, this is even worse than I thought! Don't worry, Bo. It's gonna be great. We promise. <laughs> Good morning, campers. It's gonna be another great summer at camp. <sighs> can't sleep away, can't sleep away. There's just no better way to spend a summer's day. Riding, hiking, campfire tales at night. Just look out for bugs because they bite! Which cabin is mine? I really need a snack from the mini fridge. Um, there aren't any mini fridges or cabins. We sleep in tents under the stars with nature all around us. Ah. Hello, little birdie. Tents? What? Nature? What? You did bring a tent, right? How would I know? My mom packed everything for me. Okay, let's see. You've got sunscreen, bug spray, flannel PJs, fuzzy slippers, a nightlight, a sleeping mask, night cream, day cream? Makes my skin silky and smooth. Ice cream? That's why I needed the mini fridge. <sighs> the tent! Thanks, Spritzer. <laughs> All righty, everyone. Let's get these tents up so we can move on to the fun stuff. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. This tent doesn't come with a bathroom! <laughs> this has been the longest week of my life. Uh, Bo? It's just the first day. Yeah! We have six whole days left. Six more days? Oh. Yay? Come on, big guy. You can do this. Just give it a try. You'll see. Summer camp is fun, fun, fun. Whoa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay, campers. Time to get ready for bed. <sighs> Cheer up, Bo. The first day's always the hardest. It gets better. Yeah, you'll feel better after a good night's sleep. Thanks, Avery. But camping's really not my thing. I'm gonna call my mom so she can pick me up tomorrow. could help them enjoy this. Boo! You okay? No, not okay. I really, really need to go to the bathroom. Oh, that's easy. The outhouse is just down that path. <laughs> I have to go all the way over there just to use the bathroom? It's not really a bathroom. Just a shed with a hole in the ground. It's pretty stinky. I can wait till morning. Ah, nope, can't wait till morning. Gotta go, gotta go right now. Uh, uh, Spencer, can you come with me? It's okay, Bo. Rumble can take you. You know the way, right, buddy? Oh, oh, oh. oh good. Thanks, Rumble. Gotta go. Gotta go! Take this long to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'll go check on them. Bo? Rumble? Where are you? Rev, thank goodness you're still awake. I'm alive! Bo, 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 relax. You're not lost. Rumble knows the way back. <gasps> up at night, like a million little night lights. I've got an idea. Turn off your flashlight. Huh? Are you sure, Rev? Oh, well, I see. Oh. Your eyes will adjust. Stand close to Rumble and try it. You'll see. It's a nature wonderland. Ooh. Okay, Rev. If you say so. so bad after all. Hey, hey, hey! Wake up! Rise and shine! <sighs> oh, we're up, we're up. Morning, Bo. Whoa! Were you guys out all night? 
it. <laughs> you betcha. It was amazing. Oh, that's great, Bo. Yeah, way to go, buddy. We knew you had it in you. I'm so proud of you. So, does this mean you're not going home today? Uh, go home? No way! We have six amazing days left, and after that, we only have 358 days to plan for next year's camp! <laughs> Bo, that's a whole year away! Can't sleep away, can't sleep away! There's just no better way to spend a summer's day! Riding, hiking, campfire tales at night! Look out for bugs because they bite! Yeah. The Gear Up Garage Band! Oh yeah! Maestro Owen and the Gear Up Garage Band are right on track! when we're on stage tomorrow. Okay, Rumble? Mm -hmm. Wait, did you just say on stage? Oh, hey, did I forget to tell you? <laughs> we're gonna play our song at the music festival tomorrow! <gasps> the Fender Bay Music Festival? In front of the whole town? <laughs> <laughs> that is some serious backfire. Maybe it's time for a quick tune-up. <laughs> That wasn't a backfire. Rumble's just revved up, that's all. He loves making music. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, because it would not be good if he made a noise like that on stage tomorrow. <laughs> he, uh, he won't do that, right? Ha, not a chance. He'll be fine, won't you, buddy? <laughs> Great, let's meet tomorrow for one last practice. And that is band dismissed. Yeah! <laughs> Well, there's no better place to spend a bunch of time with a four-wheel friend than a town called Fender Bend. Fender Bend. With the sound of all those changing gears and every honk and horn I hears like music to my ears. To my ears. Fender Bend, Fender Bend is like music to my ears. Every clanking bench and tire wrench and motor change in gears takes me home to Fender Band. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice singing, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Rev. We're just getting in one more practice before the show. What about your band? Is the Gear Up Garage Band all set for their big debut? <gasps> Nervous. <laughs> Maybe a lot nervous. <laughs> Everyone gets nervous before going on stage. You just need to practice. See? You just need to keep practicing, Rumble. You'll feel better in no time. Let's practice. 
this one more time. Oh, and, uh, Rumble, uh, we want to add one more big gong in the middle. So just watch for my signal, okay? <laughs> Don't be nervous. You can do it. <laughs> Everyone ready? Here we go. Oh, achoo. Watch out, there's more! Wait for it, Rumble! First, it's over to Red! Get ready, Rumble! <laughs> and over to Rumble! Everything's okay. It really is okay, Rumble. We know this was all just an accident. That doesn't sound good, does it? Concert. Oh, no. There must be something else we can do. Come on, everybody. Think. It's thinking cap time. Hmm. 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 You know, that almost sounds musical. Yeah. It does. Wait, that's it. We don't need our instruments to make sounds or to play music. Uh, we, we don't? don't? We don't? Nope. Rumble, instead of worrying about your backfires, Let's use them! Huh? Do you think you can backfire whenever you want? <laughs> Louder! <laughs> Louder! <laughs> I've got an idea! Fender Band, Fender Band is like music to my ears. Take me home to Fender Band. Man. We're the Four Wheelers, and we sure hope you've enjoyed the show so far. Now clap your hands and honk your horns for a new band, the Gear Up Garage Band! Uh, where are their instruments?
amazing! You played a song without instruments! I've never heard anything like it! <laughs> oh, thank you! It was so much fun! It really was pretty awesome! Yeah! It was like... Bada boom! No big deal. <laughs> and it was all Rev's idea. <laughs> Thanks. But we couldn't have done it without MC Rumbo's drug tastic beats. What do you say, Gear Up Garage Banders? One more time from the top? Yeah! <laughs> Exciting because... Are you kidding? First aid is amazing! Incredible! Awesome! And it's really important for all of us to learn it! Which is why Bo is gonna spend the whole day teaching it to us. Bo teaching? The whole day? You betcha! Woo! Okay, it's not just me. Me, Spritzer, Tori, and Ambly! Ha! Here they come now! Hi! Is everyone ready to learn all about first aid? Hi, Tori! Ambly! Um, that sounds amazing, but uh, Owen and I have to go. We were, uh, just in the middle of doing something... Actually fun. But first aid is fun! We made a game out of it. Tori and I will teach you how to play, and we'll be the judges. Go on. You're listening. Two teams will compete against each other in fun first aid challenges. Sometimes you'll need to do first aid on people. And sometimes you'll need to do vehicle first aid. Let's get started. This will be easy. <laughs> We're going to destroy you. Let the first aid games begin. First aid is fun. Challenge number one. Your teammate has fallen and hurt their arm. <gasps> it hurts to move, so you'll need to put it in a sling. First team to put their teammate's arm in a sling wins this round. Woohoo! Ready, set, go, teams, go! <laughs> Ooh, I'll go first. Okay, Owen, sit down so I can put the sling on you. What? Why do I have to be the one that's hurt? Why can't you be hurt? Because I'm awesome and I never fall and I never get hurt. <laughs> Fine. Help, I'm hurt. Ouch, my arm. Hmm. Wow, Avery, that was fast. That's because you were the perfect patient. There, all done. Stop! Time's up! Nicely done, Avery. Rev, Owen, how'd you do? I couldn't save my patient. But look, now he's a mummy. He's preserved forever. <laughs> <laughs> Avery and Lori, one. Rev and Owen, zero. Hmm. Vehicle first aid. You've got to replace a damaged wheel. Very tricky. Hopefully this one doesn't tire you out. <laughs> Owen, bring me the other tire! 
Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Avery and Lori, two. Reb and Owen, <laughs> zero. First aid is fun. Challenge number three, assessing a situation. For this challenge, each team needs a volunteer to be the patient. I was a patient last time, so it's Rev's turn this time. <sighs> Great. Rev, Avery, come over here. Lori, Owen, no peeking. Every first aid worker needs to ask good questions when caring for their patients. But not all patients are good communicators. It's up to your teammates to figure out what's wrong with you. This is where you got hurt. You got a scratch when you're playing hide and seek. And they'll need to use their kits to treat you. Remember, you can only answer their questions. You can't just come out and tell them where you're hurt. Got it. Okay. Okay, Rev, no more messing around. We're winning this one. You bet. I'm with you, Doctor. Do you have a toothache? No. Nope. Broken nose? No. Nope. You dehydrated? No. You gotta go boom boom? What? Are you constipated? Uh, no. Phew, good. Constipation is no joke. <clears throat> Are you sick? Nope. Did you hurt yourself? Okay, I'll point to where I think you might be hurt, and you tell me yes or no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You need a ice pack? No. Splint? Uh, emotional support hamster? I need a bandage. Uh, your mom! Bandage! Bandage! Oh, bandage! Why'd you just say so? Stop the treatment! Time's up! How did everyone do? <gasps> Uh, I didn't find the injury, but look how happy my patient is. Yes, me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Avery and Lori, three! Rev and Owen, zero! If your pet car or truck has a dent, you can use a plunger to fix it. <laughs> 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 and the winners are... Wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. Avery! Uh, what's the ice pack for? For the burn we just gave you two. <laughs> <laughs> har har, very funny. Come on, Owen. Let's go back to the stunt park. Ah, uh, come on, you two. You didn't even care about first aid when we started. Well, that was a waste of a day. Well, it wasn't a total loss. We got free balloons. Sounds like Timmy. Let's go. <laughs> He's hurt. Ah. Oh, well, what do we do, Rev? Bo, Tori, we're at the stunt park and Timmy's hurt. We need your help. Okay, we're on it. Stay with him. We'll be right there. We've got to try to help them. <laughs> it's okay, Timmy. Help is on the way. Okay. Your arm hurts. Okay, hold still. I know how to make that feel better. You have a dent in your side. Okay, let's fix that. Plunger, set. There you go, all set. <laughs> should do until you two can get home and see your mom and dad. Thanks, Owen. You and Rev are heroes. Did you see what we just did? You were amazing. No, 
No, you were amazing. We're unbelievable. We really are heroes. First aid is awesome! Ahem. <clears throat> Bo, did you hear that? I did. But you know what? I think we need to hear it again. First aid is awesome! Wait, what was that, Revan Owen? First aid is awesome! Awesome! Uh -uh awesome! <laughs> Bo, Tori, I'm sorry we didn't take your class seriously at first. But we really did try and learn first aid in the end. Honest. We know you did. How else do you explain how quickly you were able to help Timmy and his vehicle? You guys were amazing. You actually learned the most important part of helping someone who's hurt. We did? What? Stay cool under pressure. Of course. We're always cool. <laughs> Ouch! A little help here? Does anyone know first aid? <laughs> Llama drama! <laughs> That's <sighs> the last of them. Phew. Crazy llamas. Who knew they could be so fast? <laughs> and tricky. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's like they can teleport. Yeah, they're here. They're there. They're everywhere. Hey. <sighs> hey, kids. That's the quickest I've seen anyone wrangle those llamas back into their pen. You kids make a great team. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, sure. We do work well together, but this time I did all the work. Wait, what? You did all the work? In what universe? Look, here's what happened. Oh, this ought to be good. It all started this morning. Rumble and I were hanging out, minding our own business, when all of a sudden... Rev! Hey there, Avery. What's up? Rev, thank goodness I found you. We need your help. Something's gone wrong, and we're lost without you. Well, that goes without saying. So, what seems to be the problem, Aves? I should have known. Don't worry, Avery. Rumble and I will handle this. Playtime's over, llamas! for knowing when they've met their match. Yeah. Oh, Rev, you're my hero! My hero? Said no Avery ever. <laughs> That's your story? That's totally not the way it happened at all. Yeah, I never called you handsome. Uh, let me tell you what really happened. It all started this morning. I was just having some fun. Suddenly, we heard a pitiful scream for help. Ah! Oh, no, no, no! Huh? Oh, what are we gonna do, Rumble? We messed up big this time. Huge! Huger than huge! Oh, where is Avery when we need her? Red Wheeler! Huh? Avery! Oh, my golly gosh! We don't know what to do! We accidentally let all the llamas out of their pen, and now they're gone! Mm -hmm. We're the worst! 
worst llama keepers ever. Yes, you are. But we're here now. <gasps> Thank you, Avery. I just don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> are you happy crying? <laughs> Tears of joy. <laughs> yes. And I'm allergic to llamas. Please, Avery. You all stay here. Ellie and I will handle this. Just be ready to close the pen when we herd him back here. Uh, a little help here. Thank you, Avery. Now, Avery, should I close the pen now? Huh? Yeah, sure. Oh boy, golly gee whiz, Avery! You did it! You really did it! You're the greatest ever! What? No way did I ever say that! <laughs> oh, Didn't happen like that either. You're both wrong. Gather around, people. Let me tell you what really <laughs> happened. It all started this morning. Crash and I were having a little tiny bit of ice cream. We deserve this. What? <gasps> with our ice cream fun day. That might be how you got some of the llamas back, but not all of them. You're all forgetting about the ones Tipper saved me from. He was so brave. It all started this morning. It was a bright and sunny day, and Tipper and I were planting petunias. Tipper just loves petunias. <laughs> <gasps> what? Are you hungry, Tipper? I didn't know you liked to eat petunias. <laughs> hmm, if Tipper didn't eat them, then who did? <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Llama. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> you seem pretty hungry. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you sure love flowers. <gasps> oh, there sure are a lot of you. You came just in time. Come and get it, you hungry llamas! <laughs> Pedal to the metal, Tipper! What a wonderful story. Too bad it's not true. I didn't want to have to do this, but it looks like I have to tell you all what really happened. It all started as it always does for me and Spritzer, with a little warm-up routine. That's it, Spritzer! Five and a six and a seven and a eight and a... Oh, perfect! Okay, partner. Me. 
leave those llamas back to the pen with the power of dance! Come on, Spritzer. You need to spin me with all the truck power you've got. And now for the grand finale, Spritzer! Lift me into the sky like a swan! Wow. Well, I guess we'll never know what really happened. <laughs> no, I guess not. But it looks like you all made a valuable contribution to the effort. So great job, team. We really do make a great team, don't we? <laughs> hey, uh, who let the llamas out of their pen in the first place? Oh, hey, I didn't mean for you to start again. Uh. 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 We're gonna need a bigger fence. Stuck on you! Oh my dears, Rev, this is the biggest mess we've ever made. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. But man, was it fun! We got to test out so many new truck attachments. Hey, Rumble, can you pass me the wrench? <laughs> it's okay, Rumble. Not all jobs can be truck powered. <laughs> Rumble, you really want to help clean up? Well, okay then. Close your eyes and hold still. Okay, Rumble. Now try to pick up the wrench. <laughs> Whoa, cool! That's awesome, Aves! Uh, how'd you do that? It's a simple trick. I used a disc battery to turn Rumble into a magnet. Huh? Now anything metal that Rumble gets near will stick to him. <laughs> yes! Way to go, Rumble! <laughs> Rumble's super happy. He loves to help out, don't you, buddy? <laughs> I guess it is pretty cool. Watch out, Rumble! Avery, turn the magnet off! Oh no! It's not working! No! Rumble's still magnetized! Something must have gone wrong!
No, it's not your fault. Something went wrong. Come on, Aves. We gotta find Rumble. Lock me in, Allie. Let's rev and roll. <laughs> Nobody messes up my town and gets away with it. We'll need to find out who's behind this and take it down to the station for questioning. This is really bad. Now we're in trouble with the law. The law? Roger's just a kid. <laughs> uh, you want to tell him that? Uh, not really. Rev, Avery, as you can see, we have a situation here. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Out of the, uh, ordinary? Uh, no! I mean, uh, this is a pretty ordinary day. Right, Avery? Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't think it could get any more ordinary. Yep, totally ords around here. Yep, plain old ordinary. It's actually kind of boring, you know? We could use a little excitement. Uh, uh... Anyhow, I've got to go. Lots of ordinary things to do. One little magnet could cause so much trouble. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you put on these extra magnets, Rumble? <laughs> so that's what happened. Oh, you poor guy. You don't need those magnets. You're a great helper just the way you are. You sure are. Let's get those off you, okay? <laughs> oh. Open up in there! Oh no, it's Roger and Cruiser! Anyone want to tell me what's going on here? Oh. 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 
It's okay, Rumble. I'll explain. Oh, uh, well, you see, officer, it all started when we used disc batteries to turn Rumble into a magnet so he could help us clean up the garage. It was awesome. Rumble could just drive by something and then zip, it would stick to him. It was so cool. <laughs> you should have seen it. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. Sorry. So Rumble's the one that's been causing all this chaos? But it's not his fault, Roger. It was my idea. I'm to blame for causing all this mess. Doesn't really matter whose fault it is. What matters is the problem gets solved. Next time, just tell us, and we can all help you. Oh, thanks, Roger. Next time, we'll definitely tell you first. Uh, but there won't be a next time, I promise. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just leave. You're still under arrest. Under arrest? What? Yep, you're both sentenced to one day of community service. Somebody has to clean up the mess you made. Phew! <laughs> nice one! <laughs> you really had us going there! Someone say all you can eat ice cream? <laughs> That's right! Rocky Road for everyone! Stop by to place a new order for the general store. Yep, and my two young grandkids insisted on tagging along. Hi, Jen. Hey, Timmy. You want to say hello to Rumble? <laughs> oh. What was that? Oh, that's just Matilda, but you can call her Tilly. Wow. Hi, Tilly. <laughs> Right, Whip, you! Tilly and I have work to do out in the field. I like Tilly. She makes lots of noise. Yep, plus she's the hardest worker on the ranch. And the strongest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> the second strongest. Uh -huh. Come on, you two, time to go. Molly has work to do and we have to get back to the store. Aw, oh, but Grandpa! Bye, Jen. Bye, Timmy. So, Tilly and I could use a little help. Any volunteers? I think that's a yes. That should hold. Ready, Tilly? Tilly. So, what's next, Tilly? Are you gonna haul this big old stump away? Or plow the entire field? Hmm. Actually, Tilly's been working around here for a long time. Yeah, I know. Even before I was born. That's right. 
And now she's getting older. Tilly wants to slow down and find something different to do with her time. Different? Like what, Tilly? She's not sure yet, but I'll bet having a little more Tilly time for herself will be nice. Puna Tilly. <gasps> I'll bet there's lots of new things Tilly can do. Rumble and I can help her find the perfect job. <laughs> that would be great. I think Tilly would really like that. on and try to figure out what Tilly can do every day. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Oh, there you are, Rev. Hi, Mom. What's up? How would you and Rumble like to make a delivery to Mr. Wilson? Sure, we'd love to. <laughs> Except... Oh, right. We promised to help Tilly find something new to do. Unless, why doesn't Tilly make the delivery? <laughs> Pulling a wagon is way easier than dragging a plow across a field all day. Plus, we can all tag along to keep her company. <laughs> what do you say, Tilly? <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks, gang. I'll get everything ready for you. You're doing great, Tilly. The town's not much farther. Yeah, it's just past this hill. Oops, guess we kind of forgot about this hill. Maybe we should look for an easier way into town? Or we could just keep going? <laughs> Do it, Tilly. Just find that extra gear. Yeah, you go, girl. Yes, Tilly does it again. So what are we waiting for? Better bend. Here we come. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Tilly. We can go slower the rest of the way. Wilson, here's your special tractor delivery. Well, now, this is a nice surprise. 
I've only ever seen Tilly out in the fields. That was her old job. Now she's trying to find something new to do with her time. Right, Tilly? You are? Well, how would you like to do this every day? You're that, Tilly? A daily delivery job. What do you say? <laughs> are you sure? You did such a great job getting the delivery here. You even made it up that big hill. That's right. It really made you tired, didn't it? Not exactly what Tilly would like to do every day. I understand completely. This is Tilly's time, and she needs to do whatever makes her happy. Yeah, but if she doesn't want to work in the field or make deliveries, what will she do? Don't worry, Tilly. We'll find the right job for you. <gasps> Tilly's here. Let's go! Hi, Tilly! There's nothing more fun than a good old tractor ride. That's right. And that gives me a great idea. seen Tilly this happy in a long time. Looks like you two found the perfect job for her. Thanks, Mom. Giving kids a tractor ride sure makes her happy. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like it's our turn to enjoy some Tilly time. <laughs> Woohoo! After you, apes! <laughs> a lot day. <laughs> Rumble, stop. Oh, I'm so tired. Just five more minutes. Okay, I'm up. I'm getting up. Oh, what is the big rush run? <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. Do you know what this means, Rumble? <laughs> it means that today is Pranks a Lot Day. Oh boy, what a way to wake up. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Wheeler. It is your 7 a.m. wake up lick. <laughs> I don't know which one of you pulled that prank, but as the reigning prank prince, I declare it amazing! <laughs> Enjoy that trophy while you can, Rev. Because this <gasps> year, the prank pirate is gonna steal it. <laughs> no way! Dr. Frankenstein is gonna win this year. <laughs> Introducing your Royal Prince Prankster for this year's Pranksalot Challenge, Ohan the Great! Yay, Pranksalot players, have fun! What about you, Lori? Are you gonna join the fun this year? Oh, no thanks, guys. I'm just so terrible at pulling pranks. Remember last year? Here, Rev. Would you like some rumble cookies from this regular old box of rumble cookies? Full of just rumble cookies. Nothing else in there but rumble cookies. <laughs> Why, sure, Lori. I would love to have some rumble cookies. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I can't seem to open it. Oh, I can help. <laughs> Speak! <laughs> <laughs> 
see what you did there. That's why I'm gonna leave the prank playing to the experts. Bye! Wait, where are you going? To organize the big prank day party! That's what I do best. Have fun! Good luck! <laughs> and may the best prankster win! <laughs> Check it out, Rumble. We'll use this glue to turn Avery's tools into sticky tools. Let the pranks begin. <laughs> Not so fast, Rev. <gasps> You've got to be quicker than that to trick us, matey. Arr! Avery! <laughs> oh, and that llama wake-up call? All me. Better luck next time. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what the? Hmm, that's strange. Now, where did all that glue go? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. oh, that's where it went. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's what you call sticking it to the competition. Booyah! <laughs> No sign of Bo. Excellent. <laughs> Siren. No. Chicken. That's a no. Cat. Not funny enough. Wait. I know the perfect sound. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, come quick! We're in trouble! <laughs> Sit tight, Owen. We are on our way. It's rescue time! Minutes, Sprinter! <laughs> huh? Ugh, you okay, Spritzer? <laughs> Spritzer, what did you eat? <laughs> Gee, Bo, sounds like Spritzer's full of too much gas! <gasps> Happy Frank's a lot day! <laughs> Good one. This next prank will have them jumping out of their skins, Rumble! <laughs> We're gonna slip a frog into everyone's pockets. Hey, where are all the frogs? Rev Wheeler, <laughs> what are you up to? What, who, uh, us? Uh, nothing. We're just, uh, catching frogs. <laughs> nothing suspicious about that. <laughs> uh, what's that for? We brought you some sandwiches. Thought you two might be hungry. All right, lunch! <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're not the only one who's good at catching frogs. <laughs> Happy Frank's a lot, Day Red! <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to join our all-day prank aroma? Oh, no, not me. Playing pranks just isn't my thing. But you can plan a great party. Aw, uh, thanks. And that's exactly what we're doing. Gotta go. See you all later. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no! What's the problem, Bo? There's a kitten stuck up in Old Shady. But I'm allergic to cats. Ah, uh, too. So I can't rescue it. No problem. We'll climb up and get her. Thanks, guys. Go rescue team! <laughs> oh, there's no kitten up here. Just this. Woo! 
<laughs> wow, he sure got us good. Nice one, Bo! Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> um, he's coming back, right? <laughs> What a day! Yeah, best day ever! Gonna be a close one! Yeah! Wonder who's gonna win this year? I say we all win because we all get to enjoy Lori's amazing party! I wonder what she has set up for us this time. Whoa! Look! What is that? I don't know. But I've seen this stuff before. It was in Tipper's dumper. Hey, what's the trophy doing here? Huh? Tipper! Oh, no! <laughs> Way to go, Tipper! We did it! 